You ever thought about getting a windshield wiper on the inside of your car? So when you're sitting there going <laughs> <laughs> I do make a mess. Yeah. Hey guys, we're back here with Project EK. And Carter, how come you haven't been driving this thing? It needs some work, especially power steering. Do you know how hard it is to look cool going through the line of Dutch Bows to get my drink? And you have to like really work the wheel to get through those tight lines. It needs power steering. Okay. That's one of the things we're gonna to do today. We're trying to get this thing ready for the track, not just Dutch Bros. Welcome to VTech Academy. You're about to get schooled. Breakdown. Although this will be a track car, I love cruising on the street. The weather's finally nice in Arizona, so I wanted to take out and drive it. And power steering seems like a really nice creature comfort that even in a track day car would be awesome to have. But this was kind of interesting. You were saying that on this particular power steering setup, it was actually more difficult than any of the others we've taking the power steering out of. Yeah, compared to like my DA or like the Budgie EG when they had power racks that were depowered, uh -huh. this one felt like it would almost start to bind or get squishy the farther you try and turn it. And Got it really it. just, and it would kind of spring itself back away when okay. you let the steering wheel out. That sounds like we might have a caster problem. Well, we'll check that out. It needs an alignment too, but hey, you know what? It, we've already got 235s all the way around on, so. Good point. Some power steering's nice. Yeah. and. It, Plus, we want to go to a wider 255. It's just going to make it that much easier. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, cool. So what we did was we got a hold of the hybrid racing power steering kit for this particular car. So, Scott, what all comes in that kit? So we get a high-pressure line, enough soft line to go around the car <laughs> once, maybe. You get a cooler. You get a bracket to mount your reservoir. We already had our bracket, so I use that. You get a return line. Oh, you get a new reservoir. You get a new reservoir. Comes with an awesome little billet block adapter to go to the pump. And, uh, and it comes with a return line as well. The return lines. Yeah. So a uh, zip tie kit. <laughs> and zip tie kit. So uh, you can never have too many zip ties. Yeah. So uh, talk to me about how easy it was to do the installation and what, what, what was required. Oh. Patience? No, I'm just kidding. It actually went in really easy. The hardest part was finding the belt <laughs> yeah. because of the no AC. Yeah, um, once we got rid of the idler pulley, we wound up going with a, a larger belt. As a matter of fact, for those you're gonna ask, there's a K24Z with a K24 pulley on it and uh, normal power steering pulley. That's what it is. It's 1,430 millimeters long. This particular one is actually a six rib. Uh, if you can find a seven rib, that might be all that much better. Uh, I don't really care about if it has six ribs or seven ribs. Uh, I realize that the shorter belts don't need as many ribs, and since we don't, don't have AC, shorter is fine. Talk to me about the installation. It went in smooth. We ran our return line. We just, just found a spot, and it just happened to naturally kind of come up in here. And we had already had power steering, I believe, in this at one point with an electric pump or something. With the J-Series engine. With the J-Series. So. Yeah. Our return line was coming in between the headlight and the bucket, so I just ran the line out, and it's like very symmetric and. Yeah, tucked. we actually had this cooler already, as a matter of fact, too. Yeah. This is like so. a modified Accord cooler, so it was full length, uh, and actually, and actually was a U-turn. We just shortened it uh, one way, and uh, so now we have that cooler there. So we we didn't use the one from Hybrid. You just mess with the routing of the pressure line, because, and. Maybe the hoses vary. We have a 45 on one end and a 90 on the other, but they weren't exactly clocked right, but you can mess with twisting the hose. And when I twisted it, it just kind of laid where, it, it just kind of followed the path that I wanted it to go, but it- Very good. It wasn't where I was planning on it. The shape it was planning that it'd be at. <laughs> yeah, so basically it just laid in there behind all our uh, mission control devices and it's all good. All right, cool. Well, um, you got a few other things you can do. I think we're building a, a splash guard for our air, air filter so we don't uh, air filter ingest water. And, and we're uh, making a hood pull. And a hood pull. Get rid of this, the one that was inside the car. It's actually much nicer when you have the track to be able to not have to go in the car to, un yeah. to undo the hood. Especially uh, you need an emergency situation right now, maybe, you know. Or a car's on fire or, or something like, like that. Yeah. And you don't want to, yeah. All right, cool. Anyway, so let's. Uh, I'm gonna let you at it. I've got uh, some Hasport things I have to do. Um, cool. Cool. Is that gonna work? Yeah, I'm finding my handy dandy paper. Did it, became a baby from the 90s. Oh. 
got a little metal piece. That's what broke. That was already <laughs> separated, though. Huh? I saw no, no, I, oh, no, I saw it hanging on. It was just a tiny little thing. Put your finger on it. You can jam yourself there. It's done now. It's done now. Done and done. Meanwhile, work here. the arts and craft division. Yep. <laughs> uh, scissors. Looking for scissors. Holy that's what my elementary school uh, art teachers used to say. Get your, get your trusty scissors. Scissors. That's, I think that's standard. And he also had, kind of had that haircut. Yeah, just like, well, uh, Holy sh! Uh, You're not old enough to be Mr. Lasco. If you only had a mustache. He did have a mustache. <laughs> yeah, before I grew the beard, you couldn't tell him apart. <laughs> Except now he'd probably be about maybe sixty-five. Maybe about sixty-five. <laughs> Wait. You no, know, my hair. Well, that was the color of my hair. A little lighter <laughs> earlier than that. <laughs> Really coming together. It is. It's Flappy Bird. <laughs> my Guys, I need a square. Because my paper is all crooked. That contour, that was all guess on the bend there. It's, it's a delicate art. Oh yeah. So far, it feels good. It feels like I don't even notice it's there. Oh, that feels good. Although this is a track day car, I do enjoy having working power steering for both street driving and honestly helping with fatigue at the track. But you know what the most important part is? Is when you show up to the car meet so you can one hand it in and back it into that spot perfectly. Because car meets are always tight with people. You don't want to do it twice or look like an idiot. Oh, see? Oh, that's lovely. And then when you leave the car meet... Bump back here. So that's nice, see? Nice 
think it just requires less effort than my SI. So the power steering was a brilliant success. I absolutely love it. That's really going to help with, I mean, I like to drive the car on the weekend, so it's nice going through, you know, uh, drive throughs to get your coffee, going to the car shows. You really don't want to look like an idiot at the car show having to crank that wheel over to get in, to get the car back then. It's cool when you can just one hand it in, you know. And then, uh, of course, one of the bigger reasons, honestly, is that the track, this is a track day car, but it's supposed to be a fun one. So less driver fatigue is always nice. If you can get done with the weekend and not be super tired and your arm's not dead from wheeling the car all weekend, that's a nice thing. On top of that, because I drive on the weekends and stuff like that, we actually built a splash guard for the cold air intake since obviously there's no fender liners in this very low car. They would just get ripped out anyways. And I don't know if fender liners still exist in any 1996 Honda Civic. But yes, yeah, so we put that in. Uh, maybe sometime this year we'll get to test it as Arizona so it never rains anyways, but pedals exist. So yeah, no, I'm really happy with how that came out. Uh, next step, honestly, we've definitely got a lot of small interior things to wrap up. Door, still need to find a driver's side door panel. Um, if you have a clean EK driver's side door panel that you want to sell, let us know. I need one. Um, or a pair. I buy both. But it needs paint really badly. This car, I want this car to be pretty. I want it to be good to look at. Paint's like the next major thing on my list. So to see more of that and everything else we're going to do with this car, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can see whenever we update any of our projects or upload anything, you can watch it. I'm looking forward to this build. It's still going along uh, swimmingly. Okay, uh, bye. Oh, it's, it's, not on. it's off. Womp, womp.